Alright, today's weigh-in day. Here we go. 175. 175. 175. Damn it! F*** you, Scale! I didn't know you could talk back. Why am I not losing weight? Okay, one day. That's not that big deal. Okay, fine. I'll stick to my caloric deficit, alright? You happy? What's going on Jedi? Shane, it's Shane Hubbard Fit, where we teach you how to lose body fat without counting calories or doing exercise you hate. Today we're gonna to be talking about caloric deficit expectations. So once you're in a caloric deficit, what to expect and what might happen if you're not in a caloric deficit and how to fix it. So there's basically five big questions that I get as a coach when it comes to losing body fat. So I'm gonna go ahead and list them right here so you can see all five. And we're gonna be going over each one little by little. All right, so number one, how long will it take for me to start losing body fat? And the best answer to that question is, drum roll please, it depends, all right? If you have a lot of weight to lose, like 50 or more pounds, you might start losing weight relatively quickly if you're doing all the right things. If you've got maybe like 10, 15, 20 pounds to lose, it might not come off as quickly, all right? And I say might because it truly is going to depend on your behaviors, being in a caloric deficit, how you eat, how you move, and all the things that go into that. So it's a really hard question to answer definitively, but I can tell you this, if you're sticking to your healthy habits and you're doing all the right things, it really doesn't matter how fast you're losing weight, as long as the progress month to month is making some kind of difference. All right, so the second question is, can I speed up how fast I lose body fat? Now, this is a very common question, and I'm gonna give you a very simple answer. No. Here you guys. I'm getting him. Most extreme diets want you to lose weight fast because they want you to get results fast so you are talking all about their program or whatever it might be. Here's the secret to fat loss, all right? Are you listening? Do it slow. It might not be sexy, it might not be cool, you might not want to Instagram about it, but here's a very simple fact. The people that take their time losing body fat at a rate that works for them, they have the most long-term success. And I don't know about you, but the way I think about this is I rather lose fat over time and keep it off, then lose a lot more fat in a short amount of time and it come right back. Cause then I'm back at square one and I gotta do it all over again. And I'm sure that you feel the exact same way. So as long as you're losing some form of weight month to month, and we'll talk about the rates at which you're going to lose weight, you are doing absolutely everything fine. You'll see some things on the internet that say, lose one pound a week, lose two pounds a week. That is all garbage, right? If you're losing one pound a week, that is amazing. That is, that is like, the ideal goal. But let me tell you something else. If you're losing 0.25 pounds, 0.5 pounds a month, that's awesome too. The rate at which you lose weight should not be your top priority. Your top priority should be getting in a caloric deficit and losing weight gradually from month to month. All right, so question number three is, should I weigh myself every single day? Like the other two answers, it depends, all right? If you're the kind of person that has no problem stepping on a scale, looking at the number, keeping a record of it and moving on with the rest of your day, absolutely go for it. If you're the kind of person that dreads weighing yourself every single day on the scale, I'm gonna give you a couple of mindset tips. So the very first thing you have to realize is the scale is completely immoral, all right? It doesn't have any bias towards bringing your weight down or bringing your weight up. It's just telling you the weight it is, all right? The other thing you gotta keep in mind is while you lose weight, your weight is going to fluctuate. There's this common idea that once you start losing weight, it should just go straight down. Every single time you weigh in, you should be losing weight. And that is absolutely false, all right? That is not true at all. Your weight is gonna go up some days, it's gonna go down some days. Some days it's gonna stay the same. It might even stay the same for a couple of days or might even go up a couple of days and then go back down and then go you know, flat line. It's going to happen. When you weigh yourself every single day, your body is fluctuating. It doesn't mean you're not losing fat if your weight goes up, and it doesn't mean that you're not losing fat if your weight stays the same. That is a very important thing to remember. If you can get that in your head, your weight loss journey is gonna be so much easier. Because if you're making adjustments based on single day weigh-ins, it's gonna be a lot harder to lose weight. Okay? You have to trust the process. It's one of the reasons why I tell all of my clients, give it 30 days. 
all right? Get in a caloric deficit for 30 days. And then at the end of that 30 days, if you still haven't lost any weight, that's when you make an adjustment because you're basically discovered in the last 30 days, you haven't been in a caloric deficit. And you might feel like, oh my God, that's such a waste of time. I just wasted 30 days. No, you didn't. Actually, you just found out what your caloric maintenance is. Now all you have to do is cut a little bit out on the nutrition end, or you can add more exercise. And I highly recommend adding more exercise first because there's a lot more room to grow there versus cutting out more calories. Because you can only cut out so many calories before you're down to such a small amount that you hate life and you just don't want to do anything. All right, so on to number four, which is the scale isn't moving at all. What do I need to do and what am I doing wrong? A lot of times when the scale isn't moving, it doesn't mean you're not doing the right things, all right? You gotta remember that day-to-day -day measurements are really not that important. It's good to have them and to collect that data and to see what it looks like over time. But what you really wanna pay attention to is what your month-to-month weigh-in difference looks like. So if I weigh myself at the beginning of the month and I weigh all my, myself all these different times throughout the month and then at the end, what is the difference between the last weigh-in of that month and the first weigh-in of that month? If there's any kind of decrease, I'm doing the right thing. If there's no decrease at all, I'm not in a caloric deficit, I need to find a way to create a caloric deficit. And if my weight actually went up, well, by then I probably would have already experienced that and would have already seen that. But if my weight is going up, then I'm in a caloric surplus. It really is as simple as that. It's one of those three things. So again, just like the previous examples, it's not a waste of time. You've discovered what's going on. Now you just need to make the right adjustment. So it's really important to give you that, that 30 days, give you that month where you're really sticking to what you believe is your estimated caloric deficit. See if it works, and if it doesn't, you just make a simple adjustment. All right, so don't worry about the scale moving every single time you step on it. Focus on the scale moving month to month. If it's moving month to month, you're on the right track. All right, so we're on to number five, which is my clothes are fitting better, but I'm not losing any weight on the scale. How is that possible? Well, it, there is such a thing as losing inches, but not losing weight, and I could spend an entire video talking about why that is going on but simply know that that is possible and i actually created a video on this uh, which is the difference between losing weight and losing body fat which i'll link up here so you can click on that after this video but simply put you can lose inches but not lose weight on the scale which is why it's so important to measure in multiple ways right i recommend that everyone measure themselves at least two different ways and the top ones that i've seen success with with my clients which is body fat measurements Okay, so you can step on a scale and do that, or you can do the tape, or you can simply just use your clothes and go find a, a tight pair of pants and a tight shirt and something you wouldn't wanna wear in public because it would make you uncomfortable. Put that in your closet and every you know week, two weeks, maybe three weeks, put it on and say, oh, well that actually fits a little bit better. Like I got more room in my waist, I got some more room in my shirts. And that can tell you that you're losing inches even if the scale is telling you that you're not actually losing any you know, physical weight. And just a real quick kind of tip on why that happens. If you're someone who's exercising and you know doing more on the nutrition, like you're creating that caloric deficit, you're losing body fat, there's a good chance that you're building some muscle and you're losing some fat at the same rate or pretty close to the same rate. This is found more commonly in people that are new to exercise or haven't exercised in a while because their bodies are changing dramatically and your body has to adapt and make all these changes. And so your weight might stay the same, but again, you're losing fat and you're putting on new muscle, all right? So that is a very common occurrence for you know somebody who's got either a lot of body fat to lose or is exercising and, and eating better at the same time and in that caloric deficit, you will see that happen. So be aware of that. And, and that's again, why I say, look, you gotta measure two different ways. Because if you're just stepping on the scale, you're gonna get very discouraged. You're gonna feel like you, you know, you're not doing anything right and you're gonna wanna quit. All right, guys, so that is my video today. I hope that helped you out. If it did, please let me know in the comments section below. And if you have any questions that you want to ask in regards to this video, maybe I didn't go over something as much as you wanted to, please put it in the comments section. I pay attention to all the comments that are down there and I love to help people out. I really wanna make sure that you get as much good information as possible so you can start losing body fat on your own. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to today's video. I will see you in a future video.